So I haven't touched this channel in a while. Um, and what better way to reinstate this um, shindig is to talk about suits because uh, the finale aired a month ago. This mid-season finale for season five aired a month ago. And um, I have to wait till January, till the next mid-season premiere. It is making me so anxious. Um, the day I actually, the day it came out, my cousin um, Snapchatted me and he's like, did you watch Suits? And I'm like, no. No, he's like, I just need someone to rant to watch it. And I was at school, like, finishing up my folio. So I got home, I watched it. I was Snapchatting along the way. And then at the last second, when the thing, big thing happened. You know when, you know, when Harvey and um, Mike, they hugged and um, that was really cute. And I was like, oh my God, love. And then the thing at the last second happened where you just, I don't know how I felt. And um, my cousin was like, yeah, see, I knew uh, in my head, I was like, this chick doesn't know what's coming. Hey, the suits right as a bunch of idiots. Um, and I'll tell you, there's two reasons why. The first reason is because um, they do that thing where they just repeat things all over, like, over and over again. It might be like the, the dialogue. So um, you'll hear, I don't give a shit about dot, 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 or... Um, God damn, they say that a lot, or they say, um, they have a lot of phallic references or like, oh, he, not really phallic, like, your balls are in my hands, or like, I got my dick in my hand as a metaphor for like, I'm vulnerable. It's just, like, everyone says it, I'm just like, can you get something new? Not only that, but like, there's always the storyline where Lewis fucks up, and then Harvey has to help him, and then everyone else has to, I don't know, it's just... It gets really repetitive, but I still love it. I still, and I also hate the writers because they make things too obvious. Like when, okay, here's from the episode. Um, they do a flashback, the the last episode of season five, episode ten. They do a flashback, and it's Mike and his grandma, and they're just he's um it's the day he finds out that his parents have passed away, and he's like, oh, where is mom and dad? I wanted to say sorry for them. I wanted to say I love them because I never got to. That's like. What a coincidence that he had a fight the night they died. Like, what a coincidence. Could they not make it more obvious that his parents were going to die? Like, that would... I don't know. I just don't think... I know a lot of TV shows that do that. And it's ridiculous. Like, come on. Um, there's a third reason I hate the, the writers. And because they make my heart hurt. I mean, they could have made it the episode 9. Like, they could have made that thing happen at the episode, end of episode 9 and then the backlash of episode 10 and then have season. But no, they want people to hold on to their seats and make them make people watch the next episode because they want their ratings to go up. That's why at the end of seasons they have cliffhangers so then they can get another season ordered. Whoops, I just spilled the secrets for the whole TV show business. I'm pretty sure everyone knew that anyway. Let's get into it. Okay, spoiler alert. If you haven't watched the episode, now's the time to not watch. Sorry, the end, of, the ending, where Mike gets arrested. Um, I'm not gonna go into like the whole episode because it's all really like stuff that I don't know. I'm the whole, the whole therapist thing is kind of like been the whole thing throughout the season. And um, from the people that I've talked to, they really liked that. They really liked that Harvey's finally opening up about stuff. Um, with me, I'm not. There's something about her. I feel like. Sorry, that was the post guy. Okay. What was I saying? Okay, the therapist thing. A lot of people that I've talked to, my friends, my family, they've said that they like, they like the whole therapist thing because it's kind of like opening up Harvey's world. I just still feel he's not into it, even though he's still going. I don't know. I feel there's a bit of sexual tension between him and the therapist, even though they've the shows really try to make it clear that they not meant to go anywhere near each other. But there's just, because of that whole scene where she, like, he basically betrays her just to get his thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. But I like how Harvey's opening, Harvey's opening up. I just don't think it was completely needed because 
Yeah, he's damaged. Yeah, he's damaged, but is he really that damaged? Like, I don't know. I'm still a bit iffy on that. Um, if anything, if everyone anyone needs therapy, it's, I think it's Mike. Because him going to the priest and the priest basically telling him to quit. And Trevor, out of nowhere, becoming an angel and also telling him to quit. And then he's just like, fine, you know what, I'll quit. Because my wife wants a nice wedding. I don't know, the whole thing got blown out of proportion and everyone decided to quit at once. It was fucked. Um, and Harvey deciding to quit just so that Forceman could lay off. Come on, they're not going to end up quitting. It suits. Every time someone quits, they go back. But now everything's changed, so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I actually found some theories on Reddit because I didn't want to bring my own theories around. I don't know. Um, there's some people saying... <sighs> Um, a few clear options. Hardman. Hardman might know. Hardman's just an... I don't know. They just try too hard with him, like the writers, I feel. Soloff. Oh, it could not be Soloff. Soloff's too dumb. Soloff is way too dumb. Unless... Something... Hardman's got something on Soloff, and that includes Mike's... Pro Maybe Soloff is a fraud as well. Whoa. Okay, I don't know, maybe. Um, for Forceman. Claire. Who's Claire? Oh, Claire. Um, that's his girlfriend in real life. Troyan. Um, Rachel's mother. Maybe. Because you have to know who, you know, you have to think of who knows and stuff. <laughs> Sheila's ass. <laughs> I just love her name. Yeah, maybe. Could be Sheila. Hmm. I haven't heard any. I just don't know if it would be someone that we haven't seen. Actually, no, that would make sense if it was someone that we haven't seen in a long time because it's like, oh, surprise. Maybe it's um, A. What's her name? Jenny. Yeah, she's A now. So, I don't know, maybe. Someone says it's clearly Forceman. But they're at Frostman. Or Forstman. Forstman. I swear it's Forceman. Not Forstman. Why is everyone running Forstman? It's the company Mike got worried about when he realised they were starting to do background checks when working on Claire's case. <sighs> that makes sense. <laughs> the company? You mean the US government? I feel like it was either the priest or the girl that Mike lied to and Rachel dealt with during Mike's first case as partner. So Claire. The priest. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, I have a feeling it's a priest who called cops on Mike not to do with being a fraud, but when he stole the $936 years ago. That that $936 thing was weird, too. Like, there were so many weird things about that episode. I don't know. Don't know. I, think, oh, I saw a theory that was hilarious. I thought... Um, Trevor decided to pull a bachelor, a bachelor stunt. If that was true, I would be pissing myself laughing. But yeah, um, I'm I'm excited to see how it turns out actually. So, um, I mean, on one hand, it could be about something completely different. He could be innocent, but on the other hand, it could be the actual thing, and he could be facing jail time. And then Harvey could be his lawyer. Um, uh, I, I'd love to see like the whole Pierce Inspector lit like team working on that case. It would be hilarious. Um, but yeah, that's my views on it. Um, what are you? What are your theories? Because I don't know. There's a whole lot of them going around on Reddit, um, and I don't usually read Reddit. But like, this is this is important to me. This is very important to me. But yeah, I'm gonna watch Scream Queens now because I came out the first episodes out, and I'm so excited. So um yeah, if if once the new episode of Suits come out, once, which is in January, so it's ages away, I will make another one of these and talk about that and we'll have a discussion. But other than that, um, see ya. So I filmed that, um, that clip, uh, like months ago, um, and I never uploaded it and I feel like I should have, but there's about, today's the 23rd of January. And it, um, the new episode comes out in a couple days, and I'm kind of 
really G'd for it. I tried to not watch the trailer, but I watched a bit of the trailer for the new episode. And so he definitely is incarcerated. It wasn't a bachelor joke, but um, I'm, I think I should take back what I said about Harvey not having to see a therapist. I thought that was, it, it is important, but um, he shouldn't have been so rude to that, rude to her by doing what he did um, to her. You know, the um, calling her out for something that, you know, she'd never told anyone before. Um, other than that, I'm really, really excited to see what happens. Um, whatever happens to Mike Ross, we're all in this together. Um, I love you all, and we just have to stay strong for him, okay? Free Mike Ross, all right? Okay. And um, I think that's all I wanted to say. So, um, yeah, hope you all enjoy the new episode of Suits, and I'll see you for first impressions the day after it comes out or something. See ya.